So you want to grow your YouTube channel, but you just can't get the views. Well, if you've been doing YouTube for a little while, then you might already have the answer. Because there's one key metric that'll help you double your views, literally overnight. So let's see how. Okay, so I've had this channel for about three years and it's time to put it in first gear and start making some serious money from it. Now I've got 6,000 subscribers, which is great. And I've also got over 200 videos, but the thumbnails didn't always look like this. You see, when I started off doing YouTube videos, I wanted to stand out a little bit. And I didn't understand about clickbait and making your thumbnails more attractive. So even though I did get some traffic back then, these thumbnails could definitely do with an overhaul. And although watch time is important for getting extra traffic to your website, there is one key metric that'll help you improve overnight. If we have a look at the Reach Viewers tab in YouTube Studio Beta, then we can see that they now have an impressions funnel. And this impressions funnel tells us how many impressions we've had, and more importantly, what the click-through rate was. Now, 7.3% isn't actually too bad, but you want to make sure that all your videos are running at around this rate. And by literally fixing up some of your old videos, improving the thumbnails, titles, you could actually increase your traffic overnight. So this is one of my old videos. It's a Prize Rebel video. And uh, I made this one a few years ago now. And there's a couple of obvious mistakes. Now I actually know what I'm doing. Now I didn't have Prize Rebel at the beginning of the title, which is always important. The description isn't too bad, but we maybe can change that. And the thumbnail, well, that's pretty boring. And I've now branded to another name. So it's probably time I change these thumbnails. If we have a look at the analytics for this video, we can see that it's not really doing much at all. In fact, we've had like one view uh, in the last 48 hours. So there is still potential here because Prize Rebel is a trending term. So let's see if we can improve this video literally overnight. So we'll go back to the details and I will change the thumbnail. Now I made one earlier and so we'll just add that. And as you see, the thumbnail is a lot different. It's actually showing somebody actually using a computer and I'm emphasizing the Prize Rebel logo and also review because that's essentially what it is. So I'm gonna run with this new thumbnail and see how we go. But just changing the thumbnail isn't enough. We need to go ahead and make some other changes in the title, description, and even the tags. So YouTube picks it up and thinks it needs to reevaluate this video. Okay, so we're going to change this title, but we need to know what we're going to change it to. And putting a few keywords in the title is actually good SEO. So we'll go over to YouTube and we're going to type Prize Rebel. Now, as you see here, we can actually see a whole heap of different search terms which we should probably put in our tags. But let's just do a search on Prize Rebel. And the way I like to do this is I use a tool called vidIQ to help me determine A, if there's enough search volume, and B, what some great tags are. Now, the best way to get some tags is to click on a video. We'll just pause that and go across to vidIQ. Here we can see the video tags this particular video has used. Now it's my video, so that's pretty cool. And I know these tags obviously are trending because most of them are trending in the top 10, which is, which is also pretty good. So let's just go and copy the tags to the clipboard and we'll just clear this out. And we'll restart again with these tags. So that's pretty much it. Now there is another tag that looks interesting enough and how to make money with online surveys. And in fact, we'll use that tag in our title above. So we'll just change this now to Prize Rebel Review. And that's our new title. Prize Rebel Review, how to make money with online surveys. So that sounds pretty cool. I also like to make sure that's in the description as well. So let's just pop that in to start with. And then we can just continue on with the rest of the stuff here and using a referral code here, so hopefully that works too. Now, I've got uh, the Prize Rebel review coming soon. I actually like to link this up to my blog, but uh, I need to do a video for that, so 
still working on it. So we can probably leave that in because again we're using a actual uh, keyword here. Okay, so the tags look like they're set. The thumbnail's done. I've added some extra words in the description and I've also changed the title. So we'll just hit save on that. And then we'll just go over to the analytics. So we can get another snapshot of the activity. So I'm gonna come back and check this in 24 hours and see if we can actually increase the amount of views we get for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to another couple of old videos. Let's take a look at the analytics for flex jobs. It's had over 4,000 views and there's a few views coming in, but it's not as much as I'd like. If we have a look at the reach viewers, uh, there is a 7.1% click-through rate. So I'm wondering if I can even improve that, but let's see how we go. Because this is the new thumbnail I want to use. And hopefully this is a little bit more descriptive. Uh, it's flex jobs, find a better way to work. And because there's someone typing on a computer, it kind of lets you know it's an online website. And the final one in my review today is called App Bounty. And this thumbnail definitely needs some work as well. I found this cool image from one of the royalty free websites and it's sort of perfect for app bounty because it's an app based application and when you download apps you get paid. So this is my new thumbnail for this particular video. I'll come back and change the title and description and add a few more tags. So let's have a quick look at how this app bounty video is doing. It's only had 600 views in its whole lifetime which isn't a lot so it mustn't have ranked very well and currently it's getting zero views. So hopefully I can change that. If we actually have a look at the impressions and how they led to watch time, we can see not much is going on and there was only a 1.6% click-through rate. So hopefully changing the thumbnail and making the title a better call to action will get more click-through and literally double our traffic overnight. So let's quickly have a look at the Prize Rebel review and see how our click-through rate is going. It's actually only 2% for this particular video, so hopefully changing the thumbnail will actually help. Okay, so I'll stop the video here and I'll check back in 24 hours and we'll see if these changes have improved our traffic to these videos. Okay, it's been a little bit more than 24 hours. I decided to leave it for a week so I could have a good look at the metrics and see if it actually made any real changes. So let's dive into the results. First of all, we'll have a look at flex jobs. Now, flex jobs, as you remember, only had like one or two views per day, which isn't a lot. And previously, the click-through rate was 7.1%. So we're just gonna go and filter that in the last seven days and see how we went. Okay, so in the last seven days, we've actually managed to get 300 impressions, which is way more than a few a day. And that's a pretty healthy growth chart. As you see, the first couple of days are usually the ones where Google are testing your videos, and that's been reasonably healthy. And then it slowly dropped off after that. So they may continue to test it, but uh, I'll have to try to drive some more traffic to it via some social media tweets. Or there's another way I'll show you a little bit later on. So I'm pretty happy with getting another 300 impressions for flex jobs. The thumbnail I improved just a little bit more and uh, I think it's worked out okay. The click-through rate has remained steady. So I'm reasonably happy with that. I haven't lost any click-through, but I didn't gain as many as I thought I would. So the next video thumbnail we'll look at is App Bounty. Now, if you remember rightly, that had 612 impressions and was running at around about a 1.6% click-through rate, which wasn't great. So let's go ahead and see what happened in the last seven days. So we can see we've actually got some traffic on this video now, which is nice. We've had 71 impressions, and the click-through rate has actually improved to 8.5%. So that's exactly the sorts of results you wanna get when you update your thumbnails. You wanna improve that click-through rate. So whenever YouTube is showing your video thumbnail, you actually get a click. So I'm pretty happy with that video update as well. Uh, could be more traffic, but remember it only had 600 views in total. So there's still a little bit more improvement to go. So uh, finally we have Prize Rebel. We had 589 impressions in its total lifetime, which wasn't a great deal. The click-through rate was 2%, so that's not great either. So I improved the thumbnail and uh, let's see what happened in the last seven days. 
Okay, so we got a bit of initial traffic in the first 48 hours, which is pretty typical for a YouTube video. If your video doesn't trend in this time, it's unlikely to trend afterwards. So the first 48 hours is crucial in getting as much traffic to a video as you can. So it looks like this one's gonna drop off completely. But remember, we only had one to two views per day anyway. So we've actually improved it slightly. But what's more impressive is the click-through rate. We've gone from 2% click-through rate on that old thumbnail to this new thumbnail, which is 7.1. So I'll need to drive some more traffic to this video. And obviously posting it on social media is a great way to drive traffic to a video that you've had for some time. But remember, it's all about the thumbnails. So if you can improve your thumbnail click-through rate, then you're gonna increase your video views literally overnight. So here's one final trick on getting a few extra views to a video. And maybe you can get it to trend, even if it's a really old video. You just go to your YouTube channel main page and hit customize channel. Now, if I wanna give a video a little bit more love, I'll just hit the edit button and I'll go ahead and put in this new video. So in this case, I might see if I can get the flex jobs video to trend a little bit more. So you just put the URL of the video that you want to trend and hit save. And now we can see that for returning subscribers, this video will get played, which will give it a little bit more of a trickle feed. And it might just get YouTube thinking it needs to be shared more. Now we can also do that for new visitors as well. So again, we click on new visitors and then change trailer and then hit save. So that's a neat little YouTube trick to trickle feed a few more views to your videos. Now you can go ahead and do this periodically for some of your older videos and you might just get them to start trending again. But remember you need to change the thumbnail, the title, description and the tags. So hopefully this YouTube thumbnail tutorial has been helpful for you. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. Now I've gotta go ahead and change a hundred more thumbnails. So until next time, it's bye for now.